Hey there guys, this is going to be part 7 of the sunken greenhouse project and as you can see I'm finally actually growing something in this greenhouse. Uh, these are actually just some plants I took from my garden, repotted and brought into the greenhouse before our freezes started. Uh, but so far so good. Um, the first couple of days these plants did not so uh, look so hot uh, but ever since then they've actually been producing some peppers and uh, some tomatoes and other things. Uh, so I'm very pleased with the progress. But anyway, today I'm going to update you on what I have been working on and accomplished since the last update. And that will be uh, the cooling tunnel, the rainwater harvesting system, and a little watering, gravity powered watering system for inside the greenhouse. So let me start with the cooling tunnel and then we'll get on to everything else and then we'll talk about what's to come after this. Okay, so the first thing I'll update you on is the cooling tunnel, and the biggest reason to start off with this one is the fact that it's not completely finished. But I'm gonna show you what I have done so far, and then kind of what I have planned for the future. So this is the most finished portion of it. Uh, you'll see it's just the uh, rocked up entrance with a six inch PVC pipe, um, you know, surrounded by the rock. And then I have some hardware cloth in here just to keep uh, mice and snakes and rats out of the cooling tunnel. This runs about 100 feet out, off into the desert in a 18 inch deep uh, ditch or tunnel with uh, soil mounded up on both sides of it. I'll show you what that looks like now. Um, but the reason I'm not totally finished is the fact that I'm actually not sure if I want to build a big air uh, diversion inlet at the end where it is now or if I want to extend it further into the desert. I'm just not sure. There seems to be two or three different schools of thought with these kind of things. Some people say it needs to be small diameter lines, snaked around everywhere, piped in the other side of the greenhouse or structure. And other people say it needs to be bit bigger lines, run further, like to give that toll uh, cubic foot of air mass uh, to be able to transfer like a cave would. So anyway, that's where it is. Now let's go on and talk about the uh, rainwater harvesting. Okay, so for the rainwater harvesting system, I originally had a couple different schools of thought. The first was to figure out some way to direct the water inside the greenhouse so that I could use it directly on the plants. Um, but then I realized I would lose some growing space and have the potential for all of that water draining into the greenhouse when I didn't want it to. Uh, so my second solution was to divert all of the water from the greenhouse through some pipes that you see uh, here underground and to some tanks in the garden. I'll show you what that looks like right here. So the gutters were simply made of two pieces of two inch by two inch corner flashing that I glued and screwed together. Um, and I did that just so that I could allow um, extra light to be able to come into the sides, whereas a normal gutter would have uh, blocked quite a bit more uh, space. So those empty into some simple PVC tubes that run in the ground and then I added some uh, wire mesh here just to keep grass and bugs out. And you'll see I have one over there, the exact same design. And both of these end up meeting in the ground about right there. And they travel underground all the way to my garden. So let me take you down there and show you what that looks like. Now that we're in the garden, you can see where the pipe that comes from the gutters ends up. It comes out right at the base of that fence. And much like many of my rainwater harvesting projects, I'm using the advantage that there is a level difference between the gutters of the greenhouse right there and all of this pipe. So the water travels through the pipe underground there, comes out here. I have a little clean out cap that I can use to drain the whole system. And then the water travels up this pipe along the fence line and all the way to those IBC totes right over there. And here is where the pipe ends up. It just ends up with some simple fittings that direct the water to flow into this IBC tote. You'll see this one is full of water and the only thing I really have left to do other than to paint the PVC pipe is to add some sort of connection between both of these tanks where I can transfer the water from this one to this one automatically. So I'll probably have some sort of overflow up here. Uh, currently what I'm doing is just using a couple bulkhead fittings and a small piece of hose to connect to both of the uh, spouts there and then just do a water transfer just by opening both valves and then both tanks uh, level out. 
So um, I will show you what this whole system looks like with some rainwater. Um, maybe I'll show that at the end. But for now, let's go to the watering system in the greenhouse. And then I'll talk about the things that are yet still to come. And the third project that I've been working on has been a gravity powered watering system so that I can water the plants in the greenhouse with a hose. And that's what that little water tower behind me is. Uh, some of you may recognize it. It used to be over by my garden and it was a little system I had set up so that when we went on vacation or out of town, I could have one of my neighbors come over and just simply turn a valve and it would uh, drip water all of the plants in my garden but it was one of those projects that just didn't end up getting used as much as I thought. But I thought it looked cool, so I moved it over here and hooked it up to a line that goes in the greenhouse, and I'll kind of show you how that looks. Um, it's just a little tower I built several years ago out of some scrap lumber, um, and I thought it kind of had that cool homestead look. Um, I painted a blue barrel tan, and there's a little fitting underneath um, and then that goes down into the ground and then runs over the greenhouse there. So I'll show you what it looks like inside and how it operates. And there is where it comes in, that black pipe uh, <laughs> right in front of the chickens there. It runs up to the peak and then along the peak in some PVC until it gets to the center support pole and then I just have a short little section of hose hooked to it. And then I just have a little, little valve on the end that I can open to water the plants. And it actually gives surprisingly a lot of pressure. Well, that's pretty much everything that I've accomplished since the last update. Um, overall, I'm very happy with where this greenhouse has gone. Um, I know it's definitely been a slow process. I, I wish I would have been growing in it uh, a month after I got the whole frame uh, started, but you know, it wasn't to be. Um, as for future things that I plan on doing, um, pretty much the greenhouse is ready to go. Um, I, I might be doing some landscaping around the sides, which I know I've said several times, like put some desert kind of plants or something, agave or something like that, you know, maybe make some tequila out of it. Um, I might make some sort of fold out potting bench or something where I can work in here. Um, or maybe even put a chair just so I can enjoy this uh, right now now that it's kind of winter time or late fall um, It's been really really nice just to come out here and hang out um, I plan on doing some more starts uh, of plants uh, some I probably will sell on Craigslist um, Just for side income and then obviously the rest would go to the main garden and then uh, Maybe I'll do some sort of solar project like add some lighting in here or something like that uh, but I'm just not sure. <laughs> so anyway, that's where I'm at right now. I'll probably do another update on how the all the, the plant starts are going, how these uh, trans, uh, transferred or transpotted plants from my garden are doing, and that's pretty much it. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you following the channel. Um, please subscribe if you like this, and then uh, give it a like or a thumbs up, and uh, maybe tell your friends about it. So we'll see you.